Good morning, friends. Happy Monday. It is Monday, May 11th, um, 2020. Excuse me. Today in math, what you guys are going to do is you're going on a shape hunt, and you're going to find two 3D shapes that we're going to talk about today. The first one is going to be a cylinder, and the second one is going to be a cone. So I went ahead and I drew them on our whiteboard. This one right here is a cylinder. What shape do you notice at the top and bottom of this shape? Good. It's a circle. So, then let's look over here at my cone. I drew it both ways so that you could see it, but a cone has what shape? A circle at the bottom. And then what shape does this look like? Good. It kind of looks like a triangle too as well. So, cylinders, cones. So, when you go in your shape hunt, my challenge for you is once you find all your shapes, I want you to put them in a tree map, sorting them by cylinders on one side of your tree map and cones on the other side of your tree map. Some might be harder to find than others, but that's okay. You guys got this. Today in reading, I ask you guys to look at the pictures of places where you can find trees on page 12 in your packet, and then think about would be a good place where you could find a tree or where you might not. Then I want you guys to answer and write this sentence. It says, this is a good place to plant a tree because, and then tell me why. So you're going to draw a picture and then tell me why it's a good place to plant a tree. Okay? Another sentence you can write is to talk about whether a place that may not be the best for a tree to live and grow. So you're going to say this is, I'm going to draw a little arrow up, not a good place to plant a tree because, okay? So you choose and you decide a certain spot, draw a picture of it, and tell me whether it's a good or not a good place to plant the tree. Today in word work, it asks you guys to focus on the cycle 21 words in your packet. It's on page 20. What I want us to do is I'm going to give us a word and then we're going to tap it out together and write it on our board while you write it with a pencil and paper at home. I want you guys to pause the video and go grab your pencil and paper so we can do this together. Now that you're back, I'm just going to say some words and I want you guys to try and tap it out first. Pause the video if you need to throughout, the, throughout each word. But the first word I want you guys to focus on is cub. C cub. Now let's tap it out together. K -a -b cub. What is that first sound that you hear in cub? Good. It's a k C. What vowel does that uh sound like? You're getting hit in the tummy. Uh, uh. Good. B, B. Good. B. Remember, does B have a booty or a belly? Give that be a belly. Great job. Cub. I'm going to erase it. Your next word while I erase is nut. Nut. Let's tap it together. N uh, t nut. First sound. N. N. Great job, y'all. Uh. Same vowel sound. Uh. Getting hit in the tummy. Uh. Nut. She's boo. She's playing in her kennel right now. Okay. Next one is beg. Beg. Ready? B. E. G. Beg. Think. What's that first sound that you hear? B. Good. Booty or belly? Belly. Great job, y'all. Alright, ready? Egg. E. E. Egg. Feel like you're breaking that egg. It's an E. G. N sound. G. Good job, guys. Bed. The next one I want you guys to focus on is nest. Nest. Mm. E. S. T. What do you get at the beginning of nest? Ready? Mmm. Eh, eh, 
Great job, y'all. How do I spell it? N E S T Nest. Okay, we'll do a few more together. Let's see. I'm trying to think of one. All right, sink. Sink. Ready? I want you guys to try sink on your own at home and then. Work on the rest of your cycle, 21 words. You can choose rainbow writing, fancy writing, whatever you want to do for the rest of those words. We have talked about three different kinds of animals in the past few weeks, okay? We talked about mammals, reptiles, and amphibians, okay? I want you to think back to your favorite animals, okay? Whether it was a mammal and they had two or four legs and hair and fur, or whether it was a reptile and they either had two or no legs, or it was an amphibian, like a frog, or a salamander, or a newt, okay? And I want you to think about the characteristics that all of these animals had. Then, I want you to make your own animal, but they have, you choose whether you want it to be a mammal, a reptile, or an amphibian. And then, I want you to make sure that whatever animal you create has the characteristics of that one that you make. Let me show you what I decided to make and then why. So, I decided to make up my own mammal, okay? This is what it looks like. And I need to make sure that I have some characteristics that match it being a mammal. So, how many legs does it have? Let's count. How many? Good. Four. One, two, three, four. It has hair or fur, does it? Let's see. That. So, I've got my hair. And it's got fur all over its skin, so it's got that one, okay? It breathes. There's his nose. I did it in the shape of a heart. It breathes through its lungs, okay? So, I know that my creature that I created is a mammal, okay? You guys got this. Go make the coolest animals ever. Whether or not you want it to be a mammal or a reptile or an amphibian, whatever you want, y'all choose. Have a great, great Monday.